What is up? What is up? What is up, FS Club? Happy Tuesday. Uh, got a lot of news today. A lot of mods are in testing and some mods that have came out. So first of all, if you have not followed us on Twitter, make sure you guys do. It's at FS Club Xbox. And on Facebook at FS Club Console. Almost up to that. I uh, actually passed that 6,000 mark. On our way to 7,000 already. And on Twitter, almost up to that 1,000. So let's get into the mods that are in testing. First of all, on the PC side, we have... Big ball. You know what? Hold on a second. Someone asked me to zoom in on these to make it a little bit easier. There we go. We have the Big Bolly M line, the EB770 pack, the extended driving, uh, Man TGX semi, the Man TGX tank and trailer pack, the newer ancillary storage, Meadow Grove, Mill Landscape Midland, Multi Mass MX, New Bartle Shagan. The Oko Plus RBG Double, Pallet Racking, and Stories. On the PS4 and Xbox One, we have the Big Brute 425 100, Fertilizer Tanks, Fillable Storage Container, Flegal Timberwood Trailer, Grain Leveler, Grippling Bucket, Hardy Navigator 6000 Row Crop, Man TGX Tanker Truck, Mill Landscape Midland, which that's an update, the Pottinger Vitisum 302A, Stall MS Black Edition, Swimming Pool for Decoration, the Turner TU 1400, and Water Container. There is still 72 mods waiting to be tested in four weekdays. Uh, still no word on Oakfield. I heard Oakfield fail testing Friday, but he put it back in five minutes later. So hopefully we get it this week. I'm hoping. Hoping. Now let's see. Let's update that mod list. Also, I also want to show you guys how to actually get to this mod list. Because I, I have a lot of people always asking, how do you find out what's in testing? Okay. First of all, you go here. www.farming slash simulator.com is the main web page. You go there. You click that form link right there. It takes you to here. This, uh, let me put this thing back over to 100%. Takes you to this thing right here. This is the giant form. You find a lot of information about this, guys. Click on that general discussion tab. Go all the way down here and see daily mod updates, mod currently in testing. See, Tuesday, May 7th. So it was updated today. So uh, that's all you have to do to test it, uh, to look at the mods in testing. And see, there they are right there. So let's head over to the PlayStation 4 and see what mods have came out, guys. Okay, here we are. Let's go over to the mod section. Uh, click that show all mod button, of course. And first of all, we have an update to a map, which is the Mill Landscape Midlands. Uh, this update, let's see, just fix the BGA. Okay, so that is good. And let's go over here. Under fertilizer technologies, we have the big bad boy, the Big Brute 425 100 by Black Sheep Modding. Uh, price is 195,000. Uh, max power is 425. Max speed is 60. And capacity is 6,200 liters. Okay, under levelers, we have the Grain Leveler by Tarz007. Uh, price is 3,000, required power is 140, and the working width is 3 meters. So let's install that one. And then in other, we have the Turner TU1400 by AS Agri. I believe in yesterday's uh, mod and testing video, I showed you guys a little video of this thing. This thing is awesome. Uh, Turner by Lizard is a handy tool for plowing, cultivating, and some other works. If you have 1400 kilograms, so you can use it for a weight too. Price is 650, mass is 1400 kilograms. The helper can use it only as a weight though. So to be able to do what it's meant to do, only you can do that. Okay, so let's install these and let's go to the map and check these out guys. Okay, here we are. Uh, let's go over to the, this tab right here. Let's go over to, I think, probably under levelers, the first one. Uh, where are you, levelers? Dollies, weights, belt systems, low loaders, telehandlers. Oh, there it is, levelers. Okay, where are you at? Okay, there it is, the grain leveler. It is 3,000. It is two slots. Uh, let's see, can you change the color on it? Yes, you can. So we can make it, of course, our John Deere green color. And there it is, right there. So there it is. All I do is hook it in front of a tractor. And you basically compact and push your uh, push your silage. 
Okay, so there is that one. Uh, the next we have uh, this one. I don't know. Maybe it's under miscellaneous. Uh, where are you? Yeah, there it is. The Turner TU 1400 is 650. Seven slots is 1400 kilograms. Uh, you can change the color of it. Let's pick our John Deere green, of course. Okay. I guess there was enough room for both of them. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, let's actually, hold on. Wait, let's test this out real quick. Let's get a medium tractor. Let's just get the case real quick. I need to turn this off. I hate the engine with automatic on. Okay. There we go. Okay, so how this is supposed to work? How well? How I'm thinking it's supposed to work? Okay, say you're at the edge of a field. Like you should just go down plowing this whole edge of the field. And then you should be able to just lower this like that. Okay, maybe it doesn't work like that. Uh, let's see. Is there a help window? Select tool. Select camera. Okay, that's to do that. It has to go back up and down. Lift. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's how you do it. Okay, so you're at the edge of your field, and you don't want you don't want to have to make that big circle. All you gotta do is hold L1, then press the O or B button, and it puts that thing down. And then you hold down the R1 or RB button, and see that R stick. With either which way you have to go, right or left. So I need to go left, so I just hold down the left. Actually, no, it's opposite. <laughs> I hold down the right. There we go. See, so then there you go. That, that's actually pretty neat. See, so and then just lift it up like that, and there you go. I mean, it's going to take a minute to get used to, but it's a pretty handy tool. Mainly if you're like right by that cliff or whatever. And there, we can actually put it where it needs to go. Okay, so let's get rid of my little bitty tractor right here. Okay, pretty handy tool. Okay, next and the last thing on the list, uh, probably under crop protection. There it is, the Big Brute 425 100. 195,425 horsepower, 15 slots, 33 uh, meter reach, uh, holds 6,200 liters. Change the rim color either from white to black. Or to chrome. Let's put them black. We have standard attacher. With uh, you can have a trailer hitch. Or okay, let's put a trailer hitch. Wheel setup standard. Narrow tires, which that's definitely different than the uh, regular version. Let's just put standard. Okay, and it does say Welker's Farm on there. But let's turn that engine on. Yeah. Okay, here's the insides. Okay, lights. See the high beam thing kicked on right over there. Turn signals. Okay, turn signals right up there. There is no beacon lights, guys. Uh, let's see. Reverse. See, there's your speedometer. Also down there, too with the RPM gauge. Let's extend it. Hopefully it doesn't hit the side of that. It shouldn't though. Still pretty long reach. So this does like, you know, our regular fertilizer and herbicides. Oh, and if you hold down the R1 button, you can open and close the door. See anything else? Cruise control. No, wait, what's that? Okay, this is to uh, lower it. The L1 and right stick. Okay, so. Some lights off. So there is the big brute. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. That is the mods for today, and uh, I like that. 
I really do. Uh, make sure if you guys do like this video, make sure you guys pound that like button. And if you have not subbed, make sure you guys do. And like always, have an all-stay farmers. Peace. Yeah.